G'day mate, welcome to Industries of Titan with me, Jetty. Today I want to talk about factories. Factories and their modularity. Because we can put different items inside our factories, we can really change their, their qualities, their qualities and also their benefits. So today I want to talk about power plants. I want to talk about power plants for a number of reasons and I want to point to you some of the um, pros of actually, you know, building your power plants inside a factory rather than building dedicated buildings. So with the plan out of the way, uh, I do want to ask very quickly, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I'd like to get that out of the way if you're not happy with the video you didn't think it was worthwhile you think i'm entirely wrong by all means you're gonna have your like back but for the moment can i just borrow it for just a minute anyway with a our, our, our quick concept out of the way let's talk about power plants power plants and fuel generators uh both of them are quite expensive. Uh, the fuel turbine is going to cost you 200 minerals plus two isotopes. Also, the energy plant is going to cost you 200 minerals and two isotopes, so they are quite expensive. But on top of that, you're going to get, well, in the case of the, sorry, fuel plant, it's going to make some amount of uh, fuel, all depending on where you place it, how much zethane's in the air, that sort of stuff. I'm going to use, uh, in my particular example, we're using a zethane deposit of about 77%, and that's going to make us 48-ish fuel. Uh, as for my power plants, power plants you can put absolutely anywhere, but they're going to cost you 200 minerals as well, along with two isotopes, and by default, they make 72 power. I have a couple of upgrades because I've actually completed complete the um, research tree on this particular save. So my power plants create just a little bit more power, but on top of that, both these machines are going to require one employee. Now, employees are a finite resource, um, as are most things in Industries of Titan. In fact, if we uh, hover over my credits, we can see that I have 258 employees, which it cost me 750,000 per day. As you can see, even with a population of 3,500 uh, citizens watching all the ads I can possibly feed them, I can't I pay all my employees. So you need to keep that in mind that you cannot just have unlimited employees. You can't just keep converting them forever. Eventually, you're gonna reach a cap. So I want to talk to you about, um, rather than having two dedicated buildings costing us, well, 400 minerals, also uh, four isotopes, to make 72 power plus a lot of fuel, I'm not going to argue it's a lot of fuel, I want to look at doing the same thing inside a factory. Now, in a factory, a factory itself is going to cost us all of two isotopes, and we need to put together a power plant. Now, power plant-wise, we're going to stick to the level one generators. The main reason being is they're cheap, also, they're less tiles. Um, as we can see from our blueprint right here, it is five tiles in total in size, whereas its bigger and better brother is, how many tiles is that? Uh, four, eight, 10, 12 tiles. 12 tiles to create twice the amount of power uh, with twice the amount of fuel cost, but it's more tiles overall. I don't really want to spend more tiles overall. I'd like to try and squeeze in as many things as possible. So to make a power plant, a power plant and a fuel generator, because I want to have both of them inside one building just to keep things neat, uh, we're going to start with four of these guys. We're then going to rotate this around and uh, put it into, I don't know, the gap of the other one, and we're going to build three of these. Okay, with that done, we need to fill in some gaps. So we have a gap here. Plus, I have a gap here and a gap here. Also, on this side, I have a gap right here. I'm also going to end up with a gap here and a gap here that I want to fill in. Okay, of course, I need to hook all these into a the power grid. So we're going to put a relay on the right-hand side. They're also going to need a bridge, which is going to fit on the left-hand side. And that leaves me with half a dozen tiles left over. Those half a dozen tiles I want to fill in with fuel generators. And we're going to start with one in this corner. Beside that, I'm going to rotate one this way, rotate one this way, rotate one this way, and then fit one in there, and, uh, sorry, you go in there. All right, with our fuel generators in, we have a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen power plants. Thirteen power plants making three power each. That is a total of thirty-nine power. Don't forget our original power plant was making... 64 so we're not quite at the same power levels yet but we're close uh, as for our fuel, fuel generators again it depends on how much zethane is in the air in, in this example we have about 70 percent which is going to make us about seven per generator so that is uh one two three four five six six times seven is what 42 42 fuel for such a very very small fruit footprint also doesn't require an employee I also have a couple of tiles left over. A couple of tiles left over. I'm going to put a, a large battery in there. I'm going to put a small battery here and here. I'm also going to throw in a fuel tank here, here, and here. 
So our little building has done a couple of things. One, it's making half as much power as a, a dedicated uh, power plant. I do admit it's half as much. It also makes its own fuel and in fact, it makes a lot of its own fuel and it stores some fuel. It also stores some power. Not a lot of power, not a lot of fuel stored, but it stores a little bit of both. Okay. This is our, our very first little blueprint and I've gone through how to build it. So you can choose to take this design forward if you want, or you can say, Jetty, you're an idiot. This is a silly build. I wouldn't ever build this ever. But if I blueprint this and we're just going to put this down as a new one, a uh, power test we can get a total cost. So the total cost of this is 100 minerals and two isotopes to actually build the building, okay? Uh, now, if we return to the city and I come over here into this factory and building blueprints, I scroll down to power test and I build this again, I have just made twice the amount of fuel I'm making in our fuel turbine, okay? Because uh, we're making, what is it? Seven fuel each uh, over six of them which was 42 fuel this is making 48 so we're making basically twice the amount of power uh, twice the amount of fuel also we have 13 power generators which are making 39 power each doubled is what numbers numbers are hard 72 that uh, 78 rather over uh, compared to a normal power plant only putting out 64. so we have essentially put down two power plants at the cost of well 200 minerals plus four isotopes yep because i need two factories and spent zero employees that's where the big advantage of this system comes in the only drawbacks and catches and there are going to be a couple is um technically a factory makes pollution so that is something you're going to have to keep in mind you want to put these um downwind of where your people happen to be living so something to keep into consideration or put a air purifier somewhere around your residence that's generally the easiest way of going on top of that uh the zethane for the fuel turbine is being gathered from a couple of tiles okay as for the zethane in the factories well it's just being gathered from this single tile so it's actually going to end up sucking the zethane dry on this particular tile but that's probably going to be in your advantage because if we look at the zethane overlay we can see that, well, it explodes out of all these crevices. But if I go to a couple of places where I have these dedicated factories, I have a couple of these here. And all they're doing is they're making sure the zethane doesn't flow over my town at all. We can see there's definitely a dead zone right here because they've sucked the zethane just about dry. So that's something you need to keep in mind as well, that over time, the fuel fabs are going to be less effective. In fact, this is down to 61% and dropping, and it's going to keep dropping until it gets to an equilibrium. So the amount of fuel you're generating is going to be, in most cases, just enough to supply the actual power plant itself. The other advantage is, well, I can upgrade this for nine isotopes. This one's going to cost me 36 isotopes. Also, I actually know they don't require more employees when you upgrade the power plants or the fuel fabs, but um. This is going to require zero employees, and then I can double it up, and then I can double it up again. So I actually, more often than not in my particular playthroughs, I tend to stick to factories, like a lot of factories. And yes, if I connect two together, which I don't have an example for, we do get that extra row of, uh, what is it, two by ten, so 20 tiles down the middle, which I generally, uh, in because they're on this side, I have room to add in batteries. And I generally fill them in with uh, batteries and a couple of large fuel tanks because, well, we might as well store some stuff somewhere and inside our factory seems like a very good spot to put it. Also, do want to mention that if you ever have uh, a fuel silo and it blows up, um, it does a significant amount of damage to everything around it. Also, that holds four and a half uh, thousand fuel, whereas my little tanks hold 100 each and a big one holds 440 but if we fill a factory floor with uh nothing but fuel tanks it holds almost the same amount of fuel without being um, quite so volatile yeah batteries are much the same anyway with all that said this one i'm going to call, call it for this very very short little video just want to outline to you guys like the advantages of doing you know either power or fuel don't forget there is the particular blueprint we can go back to uh what we built together at the start of the video if you want to see exactly how i did the layout sort of maximize every tile but with all that said that's where i'm going to be calling this little video as always thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to hit the subscribe button and 
I will see you guys on Titan. All right, bye.